All right, uh, welcome to the first episode of Nerd Screams with your host, Lucid Blaze. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, I am a bit nervous and <laughs> it doesn't help that I, I've never used the Spotify for because what I'm, the platform I'm using it on or the platform I'm using to record my podcast is Spotify for podcasters. And I don't know, it's teaching me uh, like the software is real easy. It's real straightforward. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's real straightforward. And then they have this little, uh, I guess they, cause they used to be able to allow you to edit everything and record everything through the Spotify for podcasters app, but they seem to have changed that somewhat recently, or they're going to change it. I think it said like June or something like that, where they're going to take that out. And then they were going to use Riverside instead. Now I'm not going to lie to you. So I did a little small test run. Hold on. I'm dying, but I did a <laughs> small test run and, um, I just, I looked at the recording of, cause it was like, it was just like me saying some random stuff or whatever, but I looked up the recording and Riverside is actually pretty nice. I'm not going to lie to you because it seems as though like it was, so basically it put down an entire script for me. Like it put it all into categories. It understood every single word that I said. Like it was, it was so neat and organized and you know me, I'm not really too neat and organized or whatever, but, um, it was like, I don't know. Like it is, it's very nice to use. I can say that much. It's very nice to use. Like, I feel like I want to use it for other projects maybe. Cause it's just, it's that nice. Like to have an entire script, like it looked about flawless. I don't know. Maybe I might've said one or two words, uh, not clear enough somewhere in there, but I kind of skimmed it and like, it looked, it looked about flawless. I ain't gonna lie to you, but yeah. So typically this podcast, cause I guess I should somewhat introduce, um, how I'm going to do this, but typically for this type of podcast i plan on doing like mostly entertainment purposes and stuff like that just like you know if i feel like there's something on my chest that day that i really gotta express to you guys and i really feel like i gotta tell it to everybody in the world i'm gonna come on here and say it so like if my cereal was stale that morning be prepared because i'm about to give you a whole two hour of dialogue on why I feel like it should not have been stale and it's not my fault, but I mean, no, not real though. Really though, I really plan on using this platform to just like, just, I don't know. I, I'm a content creator at heart. I just kind of want to like create content. I want to make somebody's day. I want to be that background audio whenever you're driving or, or I don't know why I keep thinking about cereal, but like the first, <laughs> the second thing I want to say was like, put <laughs> pouring cereal in your bowl, <laughs> like eating breakfast. Like, I want to be that audio you put in the background while you're eating breakfast. But I mean, for real though, like, that ass. And ooh, I did put on explicit, so, you know, but, so, that ass. But yeah, as you can see, I'm a little, um, I'm a little sporadic right now, but only because this is my first time. I feel like I'll get a lot, a lot, a lot more. You, I, I really, I really messed that up so bad. You just don't know how bad. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to get a lot more used to it uh, the more that I do it. I feel like that's another thing I want to try to talk about too. So this whole podcast thing, I've been trying to start this for a minute. And I think my biggest problem was just, I didn't know how to start it. Like, I feel like I had so many ideas of what I wanted to do and, you know, the cover art thing, which I didn't did the cover art twice. So the cover art that's on it now is not the original cover art. And it's just, so basically I did a cover art for this before a little while back, but you know, it's been a while. And like I said, I wanted to do a podcast for a long time. So I was like, you know what? Fine. Um, I'm feeling fresh on it. So let me refresh the idea of the cover art. So the current cover art is like cover art part two or whatever. But yeah, so I feel like originally my biggest problem with starting this podcast thing was just the whole actually starting it thing. And I touched on this on my, uh, on my other social media platforms too. Like on my TikTok, I kind of talked about the whole content creation thing is I feel like everyone has ideas that they kind of want to get across to anyone and everyone, but you know, it's just, you don't know where to start. Like you have so much that you want to do so much that you want to say so much that you want to present to the public and all that, but you don't know exactly how to put it out there. And I feel like the worst part is just starting it, to be honest with you. Once you put it out there, because like, okay, I feel like I'm repeating this part, but like once you, so it feels like you're holding yourself back, basically, because I know I have plenty of drafts on my phone, plenty of, like, if you check my notepad, you probably think I'm a crazy person because how many ideas I don't put down, especially for when I started my YouTube, it's like... I definitely like every day whenever I'm doing any random activities or whenever I was at work, 
if, if I could slide in like a little couple of seconds or whatever, I would write down an idea because, you know, ideas come and go and it's very hard to get a good idea back. So hard. Like you might just wake up at two o'clock in the morning and you had like the best idea in your life, but you decided, oh, no, nah, let, me, let me go get some more sleep real quick. Let me go ahead and turn over. And then as soon as you turn over and wake up in like the next couple hours or whatever, then your whole idea is lost. And like, look, that could have been a multi-million dollar idea. Like that's just... The content creation process, it's it's like that. Like, it's so spontaneous, bro. Because, like, I literally have so many ideas, but I don't know how to enact most of it. And you can't do it all at once. You can't do it, like... I I can I can say you this much. Um, so I can see the potential for burnout, trying to chase all your ideas down at once and, you know, not, like, really pacing yourself with it. But look, look at me talking about burnout already. I just got it. I just got up here. <laughs> I'm already talking about burnout. Like, y'all, you ain't even doing no work yet. Um, like, no, but I can, I can really see the potential for burnout. It's, it's, it's just how passionate you want to be or how much you really want to like, uh, just entertain others or like, maybe you're doing it for money, like, which I feel like doing it for money is probably, I mean, so it's no problem with doing it for money, but I don't think you should start off with wanting to do it for money. Like that shouldn't be your entire purpose. Like it should be, you have a passion and you want to show it off and something like that. And then like you eventually come into money. Maybe that like not everybody even becomes successful off stuff like this. So, uh, it's, it's no telling if you ever get paid for it, to be honest, but it is still nice for like for you to see that you didn't put the hard work in and to actually see other people enjoying the stuff that you've made for them or that you took the time out of your day to like make for them. And, you know, that's 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 nice. It's a really nice feeling, although I'm not going to lie to you. I have some instances. <laughs> so, OK, if you have a TikTok or like a YouTube channel or an Instagram or whatever, and you're like a content creator yourself, do you ever feel like <laughs> you have those times where you'll put your all into a project, bro? Like you didn't actually, you didn't line it up. You have this little whole uh, storyboard. You have all your ideas written off on the sides and everything. Like, you know what steps you're taking to do whatever project you're trying to do. Like, even if it's like maybe a 10 minute video or something like that, like you had a major idea and you really organized it to the point where you're like, you're really doing this thing. You ever post something like that and then <laughs> it gets absolutely no views. And then next thing you know, you post something like, maybe you were walking in the store one day and then you seen something funny and it was like, maybe 10 seconds of your time and you post that and it gets like the most views you don't ever got in your life the most likes you don't ever got your page has like 10 new followers from that like bro when i tell <laughs> when that is the most that is the funniest thing about being a content creator like that's one of the funniest situations i've ever experienced but it does so it just kind of goes to show you you never know what's actually like, it's a good example. Like, you never know exactly what's going to stick until you put it out there. And I mean, who's to say, who's to say, like, if you have a quote unquote bad idea and you, you know, you throw it out there, throw it around, you know, because I mean, I feel like if any idea is a good idea. So throw it out there. As long as it's not harming nobody else, throw it out there. But say if you got a bad idea or you felt like it was a bad idea and you like hold on to that post forever and you like, you know, you post like maybe four or five times that month and then you got some free time where you haven't came up with any content and you're like boom you know what i got this little thing in my dress i just throw it up whatever and that's thing you know boom that post is bumping like out of nowhere and you <laughs> in the entire time in your mind you were like this will never work this is never gonna work this is never gonna do it for me like people don't want to see this you don't know you really don't know like until you put it out there you really don't know i feel like there's an avenue for everything Again, as long as you're not, as long as you're not hurting nobody, there's, a, <laughs> there's an avenue for everything. So, I mean, basically just like, if, like I said, if you got any ideas, just go ahead and throw it out there. Like, let me be an example. Cause I throw out dumb ideas. I just said there ain't no dumb ideas. I mean, except for my ideas, my ideas is kind of dumb. So, I mean, but, <laughs> but <laughs> if you have any ideas and um, you just feel like they're just, I don't know, really bad ideas or they're just not something that you were particularly interested in, still throw it out there. You never know whose intention is going to get on it or what it might do for your page, your profile, your YouTube, your... 
Hold on. Uh, then drop something. Chat. Hold on. <laughs> you never know exactly what it's going to do for your page or your um your social medias or whatever. You never know like what audience that could get you. That's why I never really. So another thing I want to discuss, like it's the whole being a niche creator or like staying in one particular lane. Like, okay, 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 okay. Hear me out with this. I feel like it is fine. Like if you're really good at this one thing and like you make it your main focus for your channel or whatever, that's fine. That's fine too. But I feel like there's probably other people out there that feel like this with me that you have like multiple ideas that you want to get out there. Like it's, and they're not all the same. They're not all in the same genre. Like you just like, again, you might've been born a, just a natural born content creator. Like you just, you want to just make something that's the same people. I feel like throw it out there. Niche creators are fine, but to have a channel where you can come to for like just the most random stuff, it's also nice as hell too. And that's kind of like what my channel will be about. Like, so mostly I feel like it will have, it will have nerdy stuff. Cause you know, that's the whole, it, it wouldn't make any sense for me not to have anything nerdy. Like be talking about games or anime or manga or just, I don't know, just nerd stuff in general, but I will still have a mixture of like, I'm gonna try to keep it on top of sometimes, sometimes, but I'm still going to have a major mixture of like, just like I said, those random ideas that I have at like two o'clock in the morning, like you never know what it is that I'm trying to show you or trying to talk about that day. So just be open-minded when you come to this channel. Like, just, just know it's, it's definitely something that you can play in the background. I'm not going to be too vulgar or I'm not going to, I'm really not going to be vulgar at all for the most part says that and then a couple episodes later i get real vulgar but no 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 no. but for real though for real though um i'm not gonna be vulgar i definitely want to be something that you can play in the own play out loud and play in the background and everything like that you know won't have people looking at you all crazy okay but yeah and i don't know i i don't want to make this uh too or this episode the first episode too too long i just kind of wanted to uh, introduce myself again i will go by the moniker lucid blaze I don't know if I actually uh put that on my information the correct way when I was making my thing on podcast. Like, bro, like I said, everything was so much straightforward, but it just it's some parts of it came from my because I don't use Spotify, um, like the actual app too much itself. But it had some it had some pre uh preset stuff in there and child birthday was messed up, names was messed up. I don't know who I thought I was when I was making that account. But honey it wasn't me it was not it was not me but, uh yes again welcome to the very first episode of nerd screams and this has been your host lucid blaze also i don't have a, uh, an outro yet so um yeah do with that information what you will but see you later